Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Axe Afternoon Art Show. Today we are drawing Red Hood and it is a wonderful dreary uh, autumn day. It has been quite a while since I've recorded one of these so I had to spend about half an hour reconfiguring everything because I have a new graphic tablet now. It's basically the same one so I don't really have any technological differences. The only thing is the color gamut on this is slightly different so I'm going to be relying on the monitor in front of me a little bit more to gauge my colors. So that was the only thing which is a bit of a pain uh, about this new one is yeah the color gamut is a little bit more annoying to deal with. It's very vivid. It's it's like overly vivid. Like no real screen is that looks that way. So it's 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 hard to gauge in that sense. So I have to do a little bit more work in that sense. But yeah, anyways, as I say, we're gonna be doing posing. I'm we'll talking a little bit about posing as is custom. And uh, yeah, because I haven't done one of these in uh, several months, I would say I would like to do something a little easier, something to get me back into the swing of things. So, you know, posing is something which I find, well, I, I find it challenging, which is why I do it so often, because I would like to get better at it. And that's, in art, that's normally how you get better at things. You just do it over and over and over again, until, until eventually you start improving, in theory. Um... You focus on drawing something that you're maybe a bit weaker at, and then eventually you sort of get better at it. Um, but yeah, so posing is what we're going to be doing. Anyways, I'll roll the intro and then we'll continue. I'm not fully used to this yet, so yeah, eh, anyways. <laughs> Alright, so this is what we got so far. This does tend to get quite blurry whenever I only zoom into this amount. Anyways, um, so yeah, I've not made any sort of sweeping design changes. I'm not going to be doing anything too crazy. Um, God, this screen in front of me is so much greener than the one on the monitor. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm not going to be making really any sweeping design changes. As you can see, this is a fairly standard Red Hood design. I've maybe made a little bit more... I've done a little bit with the jacket, I've maybe added these little bits of padding on the shoulders. The the um, bracers sit a little bit off of his wrist, so whenever he bends his arm that they stay sort of hovering out almost. So you can see here that it almost like hovers out because he's bending his arm there. And here his arm is straight, so it's sort of sitting just slightly above his uh, the back of his wrist. Um, same as, it's not the same for the boots, the boots um, sort of bracing part of the boot sits just uh, close to the uh, sits close to the leg so that doesn't happen um yeah i made these holsters a little big uh, but i think they're about right and then there's obviously this the strap that ties them on um another thing which i've noticed about this new because i also have a new pen it doesn't have an eraser on the bottom so that's a bit of an inconvenience uh and also the uh, tip of this is very sensitive. I barely touch things and then it, uh, it, it, it cancels a click. So, yeah. And the other one is that uh, I can't do my point to point anymore. So, I have, I have resolved to just use a ruler. That'll work for the most part on any of those awkward angles. I mean, a ruler will work. Uh, you just need to make sure you have one that's actually straight. Because that was the problem that I was having for a while, is that the ruler I used to have wasn't straight at all. So I had to go and get a new one that actually is straight. Uh, and any time I'll need to do any weird awkward lines, now I need to use the ruler. Uh, which means I'm probably going to be doing more of the stuff that I otherwise would do with, a, uh, with the point to point as just freehand now, just for the convenience of not having to use the ruler. It's not like I have anything against it. It's just... Not, not the best thing in the world. Uh, at the end of the day, I do largely not want to have to turn and do all this stuff again. That's why the point to point was so convenient. Um, you never know what you have until it's gone. Anyways, um, so yeah, what else am I? What else do I need to talk about? I don't think I need to really cover a huge amount here. I just sort of yeah, I added the sort of padding and stuff like that. Oh, I should maybe touch on the helmet. Uh, the helmet I added uh, these sort of like creases to to make it look like furrowed brow, uh, and then it also kind of. It comes in with these little lines. I'm not sure if I'm going to make these the indent at the sides uh, at the sort of shape of the skull. I'm not sure if I'm going to color those in a different color or if I'm, or if I'm just going to have those be red. Because uh, despite his name, there is actually a standingly little red in his design. It's mostly helmet and then symbol. Uh, 
I also gave him the triangle eyes. I gave him the Batman eyes because it's just easier. Um, and it looks a bit better, especially if there's going to be just total shadow around his eyes, like there is. Like there will be. There'll just be black around his eye there. And then I obviously had the little bits of smoke coming out of the guns. Um, I was thinking about maybe making these weird looking guns, but I just decided to make them just sort of standard kind of like maybe a Beretta style pistol, sort of the look of them. Um, but yeah, that's the sort of look that we're going for in that sense. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to be conscious because I've been finding recently in editing that a lot of the uh, intros to these videos last a very long time. So I end up talking and rambling for about 10 minutes. I'm trying to avoid doing that as much as possible. I'm also trying to think to myself, is there anything I really need to cover? Uh, I think, background-wise, I might add little bullet holes in it. It's probably mostly going to be a flat color. I don't know if I should make it a flat red or a flat kind of like beigey color. Because I feel like a beigey color, he might stand out more against that. Because uh, I feel like the red obviously isn't going to be great because his head is red, so you don't want it to really be red because you'll kind of blend into that a little bit too much. Uh... Yeah, maybe, maybe make the background a, uh, a beige color then, because then everything will sort of stand out, because generally a lot of these colors will be a bit more vivid. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be measuring against the screen in front of me, because that's the awkward part of this whole process now. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I think I'll probably start. Uh, I don't think there's a huge amount I need to go over. I think I'm probably going to just start, uh, all, things, all things considered. Um... Yeah, I suppose the, the, the big easy part of this is I don't have to draw a face at the very least. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I need to cover. Uh, da, 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 just looking through everything. No, no, nothing I really need to cover. Yeah, I think I'm good to start. Alright, I think I'll just do it. I think I'll just get into it. Uh, so yeah, I'll do these details and then I'll be back to do the colors. I'll introduce that obviously. You know what I mean. I've done this enough where I think Generally, someone will know what I mean whenever I say stuff like that. Anyways, time to move on.
All right, so I have finally finished the details. That is possibly the longest any one individual section of one of these videos has ever taken, not including videos that had to be stretched over multiple days because of a incredibly lengthy string of minor annoyances that have just added up to several hours now of extra time being added onto this because this particular section hasn't actually it, it, like recording wise taken any longer than normal but about every two or three minutes I had to pause it for about five or six minutes so that just ended up adding up over time so yeah anyways I'm probably gonna nix the bullet hole idea because that, uh, that, that, that will be time consuming and I'm just not gonna do that instead I'm gonna uh, have it be beige, have the background be a maybe beige, maybe I've got like a pale red or something like that and I'll double texture it. That'll be how I'll, I'll try and make it look a little bit more interesting. That's, uh, and I'll just show that off again because I haven't done that in a while so that'll, that'll be something at least to, to spruce it up. Um, yeah, realistically speaking I didn't do any major changes or anything like that during the, the details. I didn't make any adjustments or any, anything really all that much. Um, I fortunately didn't have to use my ruler, but yeah, in the interest of keeping things moving, I'm probably not going to have any of these, uh, introductions take too long, uh, because yeah, I would, I would like to keep things moving. Now, the only thing is, is obviously this is now going to be the section where I need to be more conscious of, um, of the color gamma on this tablet, so that's going to be kind of annoying. It's going to be the same whenever I pick my color palette, actually, now that I think about it. <sighs> so, right, anyways, I'll probably just keep moving. Um, you know, I'll have to do my little uh, fading and everything for the smoke, uh, for the guns. Um, yeah, the only real adjustments I really made with this design at all are the bits of padding on the jacket, but that's about it. And um, the sort of like interior design here on the shirt, that's about it. Uh, or just the, the center body piece. Um, I never really understood why Red Hood is one of the only members of the Bat family that actually has a bat symbol on him. I don't really know why he has a bat symbol. It's a bit of an odd one, I just, I just kind of thought of it. Uh, it's an odd, odd choice. Never really liked it all that much, but you know, well, I put it on there, so I guess it's staying. Anyways, uh, I'll probably just throw on my background and everything during this section. I won't do my textures or anything till the very end, obviously, so that's that's not going to be something you have to, have to think about for a while. Anyways, I'll carry on. Uh, I'll, I'll do this, and then I'll be back to do the painted shading, which hopefully won't take very long. it's now the following day uh, so the uh, color section ended up taking really long as well the whole the whole thing yesterday took an enormous amount of time because uh, as I said there was an enormous number of minor annoyances which just ended up mounting and mounting and mounting increasing and ever ever increasing amount of uh, minutes and hours so yeah 
Uh, I'm just going to try and blitz through the painted shading and detailed shading and then wrap this up. Because, uh, yeah, I generally try to avoid spreading these over multiple days now. Um, but, yeah, realistically, what happened was is that in the middle of the day, suddenly I started feeling not great. And I started having a runny nose. And so then that just ended up being that every five minutes I had to pause go clear my nose out and then come back. I'm mostly all right now, but we'll see how long that lasts because I have to lean over to do uh, to draw. So yeah, anyways. Um, so I've picked a color palette. We're gonna be going for something very orangey, very sort of ready orange. Um, and that will sort of result in a kind of, again, I, I do a lot of these sort of sunset -y color palettes, but I think the beige kind of made me feel like maybe I should do something like that. And plus also the, amount of red that is the, the, the very vivid red that we have in the character and being the fact that that's really the only vivid color here in the first place uh, makes me feel like that's probably what we should do um, so yeah I'll be having uh, I'll be having this side be our darker side this side will be our lighter side uh, I don't normally do the dark part on the left the dark part is normally the right I think yeah no, a lot of the time the dark part is on the right but this time we're doing it on the left just feels more appropriate because generally when I light the front of the face is normally how it is the front of the face should normally be lit with kind of maybe some softer light a lot of the time and then the back of the head feels like that should be where the rim lighting is doing rim light on the side of the face feels like that's a bit uh, it, it can be a bit tricky sometimes to make it look right uh, it's easier to, to make um, to make a, a, a backlight look better um, but yeah so, uh, what else do I have to do? I have to erase down the smoke. That'll take like five minutes. I'll do that at the start of the um, at the start of this section before I get too crazy into everything. Again, there's not many colors going on here, so really this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, I will have to do my double texturing. I just remembered that. Um, but yeah, realistically speaking, a lot of this shouldn't take too long. So I don't think I'll dawdle all that long. I think I'll just get into this and then I'll be back once I've done this painted shading to so do the detailed shading, the light line and everything and then that'll be us basically. So yeah, I'll move on. That's our painted shading done. Uh, so as you can see, everything's going to have a bit more of an orangey hue this time, I would say. Once the detail, I mean, yeah, you can even see that I mean, my lightest color is a bright orange here for the detailed shading. So I'm, yeah, I'm using a bit of a pinky red color as my darkest, and then my lightest is a pretty bright orange. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably just stick to a white light line on this one, because I'll do that in this section as well, obviously. Uh, and the the light line, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll probably I'd say yeah, I won't I won't do anything weird with the light line. It's it, uh, like generally speaking, the color palette here isn't weird enough that I think it needs to justify that. Um, the color palette that I've picked is very pink and very orange, meaning that it will have a bit of a sunsetty sort of look to it, uh, which I think fits the character's normal color palette for the most part, given that it's all sort of yeah, reds and brown. Uh, red, brown, and grey, so that sort of it kind of fits that. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can even see the way it's hitting the helmet here. It's all—it's very orange, the sort of uh, the way that this hits. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to think now. Recently, I've been sort of cutting 
the uh, not cutting but uh, truncating the, the the gradient map making the gradient map because that is like it's not the most interesting thing to watch me do and I normally just whenever I'm talking during that I sort of just say what I'm doing which you can kind of just see I'm just putting in the colors and then that's forming a gradient um, so I'm thinking maybe I'll I'll start cutting that or I'll start just doing that within this last section and then I'll maybe do the texturing and stuff like that as part of the the end because I feel like otherwise it's I'm sort of just rambling and it's, it's just really increasing the length of the end of the video I don't think the the outro needs to be like 10 extra minutes so yeah you know I think I'll do the the initial gradient map uh, during the um, during this sort of sped up section during the detail shading and the, the light line and everything I'll throw in the uh, the sort of laying in the colors for the gradient map as part of this section as well I think just to speed things up a little bit <laughs> uh, but yeah so far so good this has only taken 40 minutes to get through this much so in the interest of keeping that uh, that good feeling going I'm just gonna keep moving so yeah anyways I'll be back to wrap up after I've done my detailed shading my light line and my initial gradient maps so yeah anyways Alright, that's great. I have one down. I have selected my colors. I've obviously, as I said, gone for a very, very uh, sunsetty color tone, as you can see. That's what it normally looks like. That's it with it on. Very sunsetty. Uh, so, we're going to do the rest of our gradient maps very quickly here. So, that will make things a lot yellower. Uh, I'll put this underneath for now. Let's set that to luminosity. This will darken everything a little bit because we don't want things to be too bright. Set it to 20%. What does it look like above? Uh, doesn't seem to make very much of a difference. Leave it below. This sort of deepens the colors slightly whenever it's below. Uh, right, okay. Now we want our color burn. This will make things a little bit more vivid, uh, but it will also darken things again. So now that that's done, it's time to do the texturing. So I'll grab my texture, and don't worry, I didn't forget. I'll double texture this as well. That will take about five seconds uh, after I put on the texture here. Where did I leave that? There it is. Okay. Ugh, it's been a little while since I've done one of these. So I have to search now for the texture because I forget where it is. Right, so set that to overlay. Set that to 20%. 20% seems all right. Uh, you know, maybe turn that down to 15%. So I'm gonna have to put a second one on, and that will do more to the background. Because uh, we don't want it to be too intense on the character. We do want it to be intense on the background, though. That is the kind of the whole purpose of doing a double texture. So, right, let's set this in. Because this one's also gonna be affected by the uh, the gradient maps, which the set, which the primary one isn't, because it's over them. So this would be an overlay as well. And then turn this one down to, I would say. 30%. And 
and that should be enough. Yeah, it just sort of makes the background a little bit more dynamic and interesting. Just makes it look a little bit more interesting. All right. All right, so that is us done. Uh, more or less. I don't think there's anything else I have to do. I put on the textures, put on the gradient maps, did my signature, did all that stuff. Uh, there was no other things I wanted to do that I couldn't do, other than the little bits of background stuff. I had to just, just for the sake of time, I had to get rid of those because, you know, uh, it really, again, this hasn't been a particularly challenging one, if only for the fact that uh, I wasn't sick when I started, but now suddenly I am. So, yeah, this, uh, this wouldn't have been difficult for uh, if not for that. Uh, but, yeah. So, yeah, I, I mercifully at least got to talk through all my posing stuff before I, uh, I, I suddenly became sick. You see, for me, this has been a very long recording, but for the video, this shouldn't actually be that long, in theory. Which is what I wanted uh, in the end, but, you know, not for the... didn't happen for the reason I wanted. But anyways, uh, I don't think there's much reason for me to, to dawdle. Uh, to, to just uh, ramble on and on and on and on. Uh, I like the color palette we ended up with. It's nice and uh, again, I, I am I do uh, I am partial to the uh, the sunsetty color palettes. Why I do them so often? But um, it's been a while since I've done one at this point because I've been almost going out of my way as much as possible to avoid them because I uh, feel like I'm a little too partial to them sometimes. But uh, yeah, this time we went for for a fairly uh, fairly rich uh, sunsetty tone, and I think it looks quite good. I think I, I, I like how it came out in the end. Uh, maybe it's not necessarily the most fitting for the character, but you know it, it fits his color scheme, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I think that was a fun one. Again, uh, despite all the uh, outside challenges, I think that was a fun one. I enjoyed doing that uh, well enough. Uh, but yeah. So, like I said, I think that is us. I think I'll just do my outro and then I'll leave you. So, if you liked the video, do whatever it is that you'd normally do, whether that be liking or not. But, of course, prefer if you liked it, but I can't make you do that, so I can just politely suggest it, which is what I've just done. So, yeah, anyways. Uh, same deal if you want to subscribe. Go for it. I'd like it if you did. I, don't, I can't make you. Uh, you've presumably seen a YouTube video before, so you don't, I don't need to tell you where the subscribe button is. Um, and, yeah. Uh, if you would like to leave... A comment uh, to suggest uh, something that I might draw in the future go for it just be polite about it um, and yeah if you choose to watch the next video I will see you next time so with all that said that is us uh, I said that twice uh, but yeah I'll say goodbye and I'll leave you <sighs> yeah that is everything I just wanted to be double I just want to double check in my mind so bye bye